Hello everybody! As you can see, this is a different video than my usual ones. It's something I've been working on for a while now and I'm happy I can finally share it with you. A while back, Amon contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to receive one of their tablets to review, to which of course I said yes. So let me guide you through my experience with the WH851 Gaumon tablet, starting with the contents of its packaging. And since I will not bother to make a second video recording just for my YouTube video, let me just throw here the exact same unboxing video that I uploaded on my other platforms. This morning my kids asked for a drawing tablet for lunch, so Gaumon was kind enough to send me their tablet to review. This is the WH851 model, so let's unbox it together. I am leaving this behind because I'll show it again at the end of the video, so let's get right to the box. As soon as I opened it, it was love at first sight. I was so excited to get this color, you can probably not tell from my voice, but I was very excited. It also comes in black, but I think black is for boring people and I'm not boring. As you can see, it comes with 8 function keys plus the rotating key, so at least one thing about you will be functional. We've also got a microfiber cloth so you can clean up after your disgusting sweaty hands. And this right here is the USB cable so you can connect the tablet to your computer. It is however important to note that this tablet also has Bluetooth so you can throw that USB cable right into the trash can. Let's now open this little package and see what it contains. I'm leaving the globe for later. This is a very small startup manual and this right here is the CUSB adapter so you can connect the tablet to your smartphone or another tablet device. This is me failing to show you the stylus. And we've also got 20 replacement nibs. I was very surprised with how many there were. And here is the drawing glove. Now we're going back to the start. This is the case that I left behind at the beginning of the video. And this is my cat who was disgusted that I touched her. So this case can fit the stylus and the tablet. That way you can take them anywhere with you and draw your ugly scribbles whenever you feel like. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the review. Here is a photo with all the contents together. And now let's get to actually trying out the tablet. I will start by connecting the tablet with the USB cable at first. I'll now be sharing my screen so you can follow along with me. So just as the startup manual said, I got into the Gaumon site and I downloaded the driver first. Since I'm left-handed, I'm rotating the tablet 90 degrees and then I'm customizing all the keys. This was very easy, you just chose the icon and then press the key combination that you'd like to have as a shortcut. And now I'm testing out the pressure sensitivity of the tablet. As you can see it follows along very well. I really didn't have to use much force which I liked a lot since I'm having wrist pains and I do not like to I put pressure on my wrist more than needed. I am first using a brush whose size is affected by the pressure applied and later on I am using a brush whose opacity is affected by the pressure. Both of them worked very nicely. I am also testing out all the keys to see if they are working properly, which they are, everything works perfectly so far. My only complaint is that I noticed that the stylus often made the soft clicking sound when I raised it from the tablet, which working in a completely silent room would start to irritate me, but thankfully I always have some music or some other background noise playing in the room while drawing, which made this clicking sound unnoticeable. And now, the actual test. Drawing something. <laughs>
So as I'm finishing this drawing, let me just summarize my review and tell you everything about this tablet for the short time that I was using it. The Gaumon WH851 drawing tablet came fully equipped. I only had one minor difficulty when starting up with a drawing tablet. Upon downloading the Gaumon driver on my computer, the drawing tablet stopped functioning completely. I tried disconnecting and reconnecting it and also restarting it with no success. After a few minutes of searching for a solution, I decided to just restart the whole computer and pretty soon the tablet started working normally. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that, but there was no way saying it. While drawing, the tablet has a very good sensitivity sensor and there is no need to use much force, which lessens the strain on your hand. The stylus runs smoothly on the tablet and there is no lag. The functioning keys on the tablet are soft and easy to press and they contribute to a faster working pace. The stylus is also very comfortable and its key is fully functioning. It does however produce this soft clicking sound when it is lifted from the tablet surface, which might become irritating if you're not using some background noise to drown it out. Now when it comes to the peripheral accessories of the tablet, the package contains 20 extra new nibs, saving you the need to buy nibs for a very long time. The drawing glove was very helpful in preventing my heart from sweating and sticking to the tablet. And I also love that there was a case included in which I could fit the tablet and the stylus. At first I wish there was also some space to fit the USB cable, but later I realized that this was unnecessary since the tablet could also connect through Bluetooth. I also tested the Bluetooth while drawing and it was actually flawless, it was completely identical to connect it with a cable. It just needed a couple more minutes when connecting it to get to its custom settings. It is also important to note that this tablet can be connected to a regular tablet device or your smartphone, either with a USB cable and the CUSB adapter or through Bluetooth. The only downside when connected to my Android devices was that uh, they could not support the Gammon driver, so the pressure sensitivity and the function buttons were not functioning anymore, but you could still use it as a regular stylus or a mouse. All in all, I had an amazing workflow while working with the Gaumon tablet and came upon only minor difficulties while using it. As a tablet in general, it is very affordable and it also contains useful features like the function keys, the tablet case and the Bluetooth connection, which are not always included in other drawing tablets of the same price range. After my experience with it, I would totally recommend it to any new artist with no reservations. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.